six. Anybody recognize this? It's a very famous pit painting. No. Oh, the Philistines. <laughs> this is called Guernica by, by Pablo Picasso. One of the most controversial and famous pieces of art in the world. It was painted in 1937, a grey, black, black and white painting done at Picasso's home in Paris in 1937. It is regarded by most art, art critics as the most moving and powerful anti-war picture in all of history. It's huge. It's twice as high as me and 25 and a half feet long. So it's about the size and height of a bus, not a double-decker bus, so, you know, full-size single-decker bus. And it just shows the tough suffering of people and animals and violence and chaos of war. Now, Guernica is a small town in Spain. And this uh, picture has become a powerful symbol warning humanity against the suffering and the devastation of war. Prominent in the, in the picture is a gored horse, a bull, a screaming woman, as well as scenes of dismemberment and flames. In other words, it's saying at a very basic level, war is truly hell. The painting was created in response to the bombing of Guernica, which was a little Basque town, county town in northern Spain, and it was bombed by Nazi Germany, along with Italy's own war planes at the requests of the Spanish nationalists, because the majority of that town were considered Republicans. So the Italians called in the Nazis to help them bomb their own people. And because most of the men were away fighting in the Spanish Civil War at that time, the people that were left behind were mainly women and children when the city was bombed. The facts are reflected in the painting and as such, the image is meant to, to portray the destruction of innocent, defenseless humanity. If you're looking at it from where you're sitting on the left, you'll see a wide-eyed bull. You might see, if you can pick these things out, a wide-eyed bull standing over a grieving woman holding a dead child in her arms. In the centre, a horse falls in agony with a large gaping hole. The horse, I can't see this, but the horse apparently wearing chain armour decorated with the vertical tally marks arranged in row, which were the death count that knights used to put on their horses. And a dead soldier lies in a crucified position under the horse. In the hand of his right severed arm, he grasps a, sh a shattered sword with a flower growing out of it. And the mark in the left hand suggests, <coughs> some say suggests the mark of a page, saying maybe making this a Christ-like figure identifying with the suffering of the people of Guernica. Daggers suggest screaming and have replaced the tongue, tongue in the horse's mouth and in the grieving woman's mouth. And there are two hidden images formed within the picture in Guernica. A human skull overlays the horse's body and a bull appears to gore the horse from underneath. And remember Mussolini who called in the, the Nazis to help them re re repeatedly represented himself as a bull. The bull's tail also forms the image of a flame with smoke rising from it. Now where this is most famous for is not the actual picture itself, but a full-size exact replica of Picasso's Germica is hung in the headquarters of the United Nations in New York in the entrance to the Security Council room mm -hmm. as they go in to debate war. Mm -hmm. And it has been displayed there ever since as a way of trying to discourage people from going into war too lightly. wonder how that's worked out so far <laughs> this century.